Hey, what's up? Everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo, and we are Fanny Fun and Jesse. Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get to the reaction, because I want to say thank you so much, and uh, also we wanted to wish you guys happy Ramadan and may you have, like, uh, you know, uh, pos is it prosperous or the best of it, you know, as you learn and you know try to be holy i mean not just only this month you know i mean you should be holy all the time but this is the most respected month uh of all the months out there but anyway yes so we wish you all the best in in the uh in the this fasting ramadan. yes in this ramadan and whatnot so today we're gonna do some couple of videos and uh some people kind of suggested on this one so we're gonna do five things you must do this Ramadan in 2022. So without any further ado, let's get it. I love you Allah. With Ramadan only moments away, many of you are thinking about how you will make the most out of this holy month. You see, Ramadan is an amazing opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us to spiritually recharge and improve ourselves. If you're wondering how you can get the best out of this holy month, here are a few tips to get you started inshallah. Tip number one, make a plan. As a famous saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. This Ramadan, set yourself a plan that is both achievable and beneficial. You know, the simple act of writing a plan will in fact help you manage your time and ensure that your goals are met and that you leave this month feeling accomplished. For example, write down how much Quran you want to read this month and set aside time to do this each day. Tip number two, manage your time. Your time is the most valuable asset that you have this month. And if you manage it wisely, you will reap the rewards. Avoid wasting time on things that are unbeneficial, like hanging out, excessive iftar parties, watching TV, and addiction to social media. You know, when you take advantage of your spare time and use it to perform acts of worship, such as salah, reciting the Quran, and dhikr, you will experience the beauty of this month and you will feel closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you find yourself sitting with nothing to do, you can say adhkar like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, and Allahu Akbar. You know, these words are so light on the tongue, but they are very heavy on the scales. Tip number three, consistency is key. The most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those that are consistent, even if they're small. Yes, even if they're simple and easy to perform. So as long as they are consistent, and this is your secret to success. You know, Ramadan is a perfect time for change. Develop a good habit. Apply a new sunnah this month that you know you're going to be able to continue not only throughout the month of Ramadan, but also in the months ahead. Tip number four, seek out the right environment. In the same way that a plant requires the right amount of water and sunlight to grow, the environment that you place yourself in has a very big impact on your iman and how it will grow this Ramadan. Make an effort to attend salah in the masjid. Join a Qur'an halaqa. Seek out gatherings of knowledge because these are the environments that will help you make the change towards the better. Now finally, push yourself to the point you surprise yourself. Never ever underestimate your potential and always remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you this opportunity to shine. The more effort that you put in this month, the greater the benefit. I mean, think about the forgiveness of sins, being saved from hellfire, becoming closer and nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make that your motivation to keep going. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you all success this month and may he be pleased with your fasting and worship. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do you know, um, remember you wanted to get <clears throat> soup today, so I was thinking of when I was listening to this. The soup, yeah? So what are you talking about? I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I wanted to get... Guys, today we were in the... Um, we were driving and then we saw like a line of people just waiting to get soup. So there's a thing that they normally do here in Cyprus at the city centre where they give 
people food during Ramadan and we used to get soup remember you used to yes I used to get soup but now I don't know why um, you're skipping that much that you didn't want to get the soup I know we were doing something yeah I, I actually wanted to come out and just get the soup I mean the soup is amazing and it's actually really really and the bread also super amazing they anyway give, I mean huh? they give bread too yes they give bread also okay yeah so I mean these are just um things that you know five things that you must do this Ramadan but I know there are more I mean there are many things but this is just the pick uh, I mean the five things that maybe the guy felt like you should be doing you know but mm -hmm. of course that many. can assist you yeah at least yeah this can guide you mm -hmm. you know which which are good things I mean nothing I, in there was sorry to disturb I liked when he said do not underestimate yourself yes exactly but there's something you nodded to what was it he said <clears throat> something as well he said something the, else uh, consistency you know consistency is key yeah, the thing true. is as much as you you're fasting doesn't mean that this is the end of the road you know i mean it shouldn't be more like um i want to fast now and then tomorrow in the morning you, you want to skip it actually where I come from in my country Kenya we call them Kobe you know people who skip fasting and then not end up you know fulfilling them towards the end of you know fulfilling a goal yeah exactly so I feel like consistency is 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 really really important the more you become consistent the more you become in tune with what you do you know I feel like it also makes you enjoy what you're doing um, if you're consistent, you learn to like that activity. It's no longer a bother. Yes. At first, it yes. may be hard, and but then when you get into routine, you're like, mm, I really need to get up to do this. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I mean, maybe for those who don't understand what consistent is, is an act of repeatedly doing something, you know, continuously. You know, it's like waking up in the morning, brushing up your teeth, you know. You know that you must brush your teeth, you know. So something that you really, if you're not passionate about, but make it your passion. Make it a habit. Yeah, and make it a habit also. If you make it a habit, it's gonna be in your bones, you know, or in your blood. You just wake up in the morning and you find yourself doing it. Mm -hmm. You see. So, yeah. I mean, I also like the uh, uh, time. Time management. Yeah, time management is actually one of the, if not the fundamentals that are really important in life because yeah. time wasted never recovered. When you waste that one minute, my brother, you never find it. You really have to plan. Yeah. Because there's Number so one much plan, going on. Actually. There's so much going on in our lives. There's that maybe Netflix show you want to watch. There's that friend you want to catch up with. Uh, yeah, and yeah. then if you plan for things, manage your time or we'll say, okay, from this time to this time, I'll be doing this. Then you're good. And then it also spoke about, um, I think, maybe avoiding social media. Like, don't be yeah. drawn to those things that, during that, this that, time. Instead, that's actually a killer wait. right there. Yeah. That's, that's like, uh, I call it like poison, you know, cancer. Social media? Yeah, I mean, TikTok, all this kind of thing. Those are cancer. I mean, there's a good way of using those things. What I normally say is make social, don't make social media use you. Use it, you know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, find yourself a place, uh, a, a safe place to land in a way that you manage your time well, you plan, be consistent, and avoid, even even you talked about if third parties, you know. You know, some people, they only want, I mean, <laughs> I used to have a friend of mine who, he will want to go to any party around the, around the whole, you understand? If Muslim he knows there's friend? a party somewhere. Hmm? Muslim friend or just? Friend? No, not just a random friend. Mm -hmm. If he hears that there's a party somewhere, he will go. Mm -hmm. Simply for the food. You understand? Nothing else. Food. And then I knew another one who will just go to dance. Even if there is a like, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> but then you, know, you have to check yourself. You understand? At some point, you have to check yourself if you've got a certain goal in life. Yeah, exactly. 
I mean, these are five good things. They're yeah, really good. You can let us know what you guys actually did yeah. to prepare for this Ramadan since it's already ongoing. Do you understand? Yeah. I mean, what, 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 what did you prepare yourself? I mean, or what do you have in line for this Ramadan? Just let us know in the comment section below. We'll be checking it out. And also, fun fact is you're also fasting. Yes. But not <clears throat> like... How's your fasting like before I like? <laughs> My fasting is more like intermittent fasting, but uh, I only drink water, but I fast 20 hours. Mine is 20 hours. I give a room of four hours to eat. And then after that, I just take water in 20 hours. I mean, not like I take, I sit down and drink water all the time. No, when I feel like I want to drink water, that's a form of fasting. So I kind of feel like it's, it's really important so i felt like let me just join the uh the bandwagon and let's be with the with my people <laughs> you know i mean it's it's a good thing yeah so i do want to tell you guys but um, um now you know you did yeah so it's, it's spoke to <laughs> no there's nothing wrong you know uh, i have that humility and i'm so humble so <laughs> <laughs> anyway let us know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video Adusas. let me turn it off please